Wakey, wakey, hands off, snaky shavers. What's going on? I'm your host, Lather Whipster, and welcome to my shave cave. And welcome to my 500 subscriber giveaway here on YouTube and my four year anniversary. Fellas, where does the time go? All right, guys, so in this video, I'll be shaving with Dragon's Blood Formula T by Wet Shaving Products. Dragon's Blood is absolutely one of my favorite scents, guys. I have pretty much every Dragon's Blood from any every company out there. As far as I know, um, check out this pour really quick. A little bit of oxidizing on that color difference, but very, very cool. This is a brand new scent. And um, I ended up getting this when I was down at Chandler just a, about a couple weeks ago, hanging out with the crew, Lee, Corey, uh, Tamara, Remy. Very, very cool. We'll get into different sizes in a bit. And then for the giveaway, guys, you gotta be a subscriber to my channel. We're giving away a Rex Supply Co. Envoy Stainless Steel 3-piece by Razor Emporium. Fellas! Appreciate you stopping by. Let's get into it. And we are back. All right, fellas, let's get into it. So um, this is a Rex Envoy that was given to me by Matt Pasarsik over at Razor Emporium for my giveaway. Um, really, really cool. Shout out to him, dude, seriously. But um, let's get into it really quick, guys. So very, very cool box. Um, Rex Supply Co., uh, Phoenix, Arizona, USA. Very, very cool. Absolutely love these custom boxes that Matt makes. Or the Rex. So, okay, so we have the Envoy here. Cost on this is $150, guys. Or you can do four installments over at Afterpay. Just check out that quality. Very, very cool. Absolutely love that, man. So, and I believe that if these boxes wear out, um, that uh, Matt will uh, make you a new one or he has replacements and stuff like that. So that was one of the first things I noticed on this was um, box replacement. So, so go put that in there. Let's put this off to the side. So... Very cool uh, sticker right here. Save that for the mirror. Uh, and then we got a cool inspector's placard right there. Very, very cool on that. And then you have this really cool protective layer over it. Pull that out right there. All right, now here's the, here is the really cool razor, man. Check this out. So this is a, uh, a Envoy stainless steel, 150 bucks, like I said. Um, it comes in four finishes. You can get the standard. The polish only, the deluxe gold, or the deluxe rhodium. Check this out. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. First time I've ever used an Envoy. And uh, this is a three-piece. So let's go ahead and take this apart right here. Very cool. So got the handle right here. Now this thing weighs, um, the handle on this is three inches in length. The entire length of the blade, tip to tail, is going to be 3.36 inches. Um, it has a weight of 3.73 ounces and a blade gap of 0 0.025 inches. So very cool on that. And we're going to do a, a derby extra today. How y'all doing? Good? Appreciate you guys stopping by, man. Can't believe how much time has gone by. Four years on YouTube. Wow. I know I slowed my uh, videos up a bit, but it's just because uh, sometimes I just don't have the time for it. So very, very cool interlocking. Now, um... I read on the website that this has a uh, an aggressiveness of about three. 
um, in comparison to the Ambassador Razor. So Ambassador Razor is, I believe, the Cadillac of the Rex Supply Co. So I just love that. So we got a, a setting of three on this. We've got a really cool blade. Now, now one thing I notice on these, um, this is mainly for Matt. One thing I notice on, on these um, blades is, is uh, they're kind of rounded right here. So as opposed to like, say like the classic Gillette's, which are a little bit flatter. And so um, one of the uh, consequences of that is it won't lean up on its, in, on its side like that. So you have to put it down like that. So as opposed to some of these classic razors, which will stand up like that. So just a, just a note, but it will actually fit up on the top of the mirror. So that's one cool thing about it. So very, very cool. So, all right, we got the blade loaded. Um, yeah, here's the inside. Very, very cool laser cut. Just, just really, really nice fit and finish. Manufactured right here in the United States, guys. Absolutely love that. So, I'll leave all the details below. I'll leave a link below, guys. And so, we're going to test this, and then um, we're going to be doing a giveaway on the next one. I know I said I'd do a giveaway on the, on the other video, but I had a few things happen to where um, I had a chance to give away some really, really nice stuff. So, And we will be giving away um, a set of this, too. So, from the tea. So, all right, let's get started, guys. How y'all doing? Good? Oh, man, I need to shave about four, three, four days of growth. Been a minute. All right. Oh, man. Oh, so, yeah, I just been, a lot's been happening for me, guys. A lot, on, uh, a lot in um, Phoenix. Uh, did that commercial shoot for uh, wet shaving products. Um, if you haven't seen that, I'll leave a link below for that. And then um, I recently did a uh, dual live shave over at Razor Emporium with Matt. And so um, that's where I got this uh, really cool new Razor Emporium brush from, guys. I just absolutely love this. This is an import, really, really cool um, amber handle. And then this is a 26 millimeter um, Borna, I believe. And uh, this is a little bit different, and it's kind of a lather hog. So, all right, get it up there. Let's go ahead and open this up. Yeah, man, I've uh, just been. Um, Hanging out with a lot of shave companies lately, guys, and it's just been really, really fun. And uh, let's just put all that to the side. So, all right, so over here. It's kind of crowded, so we'll set that over here, and we'll set this over here, just like that. Yeah, man, but I've just been, um, I've just been doing a lot lately, man, and for uh, for shave companies and um, involvement in the community, guys, and it has just been so much fun. Like, if you would have asked me four years ago when I started doing this that I would be in, you know, two shave commercials, I'd have been like, get out of here, man. But it's come to pass, dude. So very, very cool. I really appreciate um, Razor Emporium, and I really appreciate uh, West Shaving Products for supporting me, supporting my channel, supporting me as a veteran. It's just been it's just a really cool time to be a shaver. So we'll just shake all that water out right there. All right, let's get into it. So I don't typically use knots that are like this, like uh, it's just a real thick knot. So I'm just gonna load the hell out of it. Now this was the ray, or this was the the uh, brush that I used when I did the dual shave with Matt. And so um, after the shave, you know, after we were, we were just doing some uh, B-roll, I said, hey, man, can I have that brush? He's like, sure. So very cool. I just wanted sort of a memento from the from hanging out with Matt and Razor Emporium. I mean, guys, you do the same thing, right? I'm sure you guys would. So, all right, so there it is. We got it loaded. Go ahead and rinse this out now. I absolutely love Formula T, guys, because it's a, it's, a, it's a beef tallow from wet shaving products. And um, I've always noticed... Um, that this this soap has been like just really really nice like it holds a lather um, I don't know if it's the fat lipids inside that um, really keep the structure of the lather together but when I do a lot of my lather shots you know formula T is one of those lathers that just kind of hangs around for a while so I've actually left it for like an hour come back and it still it still has its sort of shape even after drying out so all right let's get started guys so yeah I'm out of, but uh I finally reached 500 subscribers, so thank you guys for that. Um, I never thought I would reach like 200 subscribers, <laughs> in all honesty. I mean, um, you know, I know like, you know, my wearing the sailor's hat and stuff like that, it's like, it's just, it's odd to some, you know? All right, so got this loaded. But I was in the Navy, and this is how I pay respect and to my fellow shipmates who are out there serving this country. And um, I did my time, two deployments, um, from 93 to 97, and um, I would do it again in a heartbeat, guys. I would serve my country in a heartbeat. Um, went right after high school, 
when I earned my college money and went to college and got my, you know, degree and paid for my school myself. You know, yep, we were real nice. So yeah, just to tell you a little bit about me and my, you know, my experience. And so, all right, let's go to whip this. This uh, this brush keeps holds in a lot of water, man. Seriously, big old thick knot. It's still breaking in though. Nice. Very nice. Go ahead and take out the rest of this. Yeah, this knot is still uh, is still being broken in, but very very cool on that. So we'll see that right here. But yeah, man. Um. So yeah. So four years doing YouTube. I never thought I would be doing this shaving for this long, guys. But I absolutely love um, testing shave cream on live camera. I like the interactions I get with uh, the community. Not all the community, but. Uh, the community that I talk with on a regular basis. You guys know who you are. And I really appreciate you guys. Uh, those of you who have followed me from the start from, uh, you know, just, just hanging around. You know, I, um, you know, I have a show that, you know, I, I do this, uh, this shape channel for the artisans and, um, you know, for myself, but then for the other enthusiasts, shaving enthusiasts, you know, guys who like brushes, cream and all. So it's just, it's just really cool. It's an honor and privilege talking to each and every one of you guys. So I've seen shavers come and go. Um, in these four years, I've seen shavers come and go. I've seen um, companies come and go. You know, shout out to um, Mickey Lee Soapworks, um, Tiki, the uh, Mena's original Tiki. And then recently, um, you know, these kind of videos give me a chance to sort of like look back and reflect, you know, who's around, who's gone. Like, unfortunately, rest in peace, some of our shavers have passed away, um, which is really sad. All right, guys, super excited. So let's get started with this, guys. First use for Rex Envoy. Now, I was talking to Matt um, in a showroom. And anytime you guys go to Phoenix and you get a chance to go to, like, a you know, visit a shave company. Sorry, I got one of my girlfriend's hairs. When you share a bathroom with a girlfriend, you're always going to find hair. <laughs> so, all right. All right, let's get started. So this is, again, a setting of three. Hmm, Nice. I have a few DEs. I have that uh, console from Rex, and uh, man, it is just extremely, extremely sharp. It's that uh, uh, console is the um, slanted version of a uh, of a ambassador. And uh, where are we at? Okay. And so, um, I was talking to Matt in the showroom. All right, irritation dissipation check. There is none. Hmm. Yeah, man, like, uh, he told me, he said, um, you know, I want, I want you guys to follow um, Matt's newsletter over at Razor Emporium so you get the latest updates on what's coming out, you know, that kind of stuff, new shave creams. Um, there's also a honing service, there's a, a revamp service, restoration service, and I've used all of them. Um, actually, I, uh, first time I met Matt over at Razor Emporium was in 2015 with his, at his first shop up in um i think it was peoria arizona which is a suburb of north phoenix and um i ended up getting my dad a gillette fat boy revamped from him um, i wanted to get my dad that for uh, 2015 father's day because my dad um uh, lost his original fat boy and we got a couple of nicks so that's all right though it's a brand new blade all right so start here but you know i, I just uh you know it's it's been a long time like i've actually been a consumer in fanboy of shaving products um, longer than I've been an actual content creator here on YouTube. Um, I was talking to a, a gentleman the other day who was asking me like, well, how did you get into it? And why did you get into it? You know, and this and that. And so it just happened, man. I just, I started collecting, um, I started collecting shave gear in 2015 or 2012. And um, I noticed that there was sort of like a this grassroots groundswell of, of fellows who were um, really, really, really liking traditional, modern traditional uh, shave gear, going back to DEs and going back to straights and stuff like that. 
And I just found it intriguing, man, because for me, I, I, I approached this not from like the shaving hobby, but more from a leisure time. I, I was like, I, I was in um, undergrad or uh, no, not undergrad. I was at the beginning of my um, graduate program here in Denver. And I was studying um, advertising and leisure time. And I don't think I've ever told you guys this, but I was studying advertising and leisure time. And um, I noticed that uh, there's been sort of this like critical sort of mass decline of, of leisure time for families, for working families here in America. And so um, classic shaving is a part of that, you know, at least for me anyways, because these shaves take a little bit longer than, um, than your, uh, you know, your Gillette uh, cartridge razors. Let's see where we're at. We're at 13. Okay. I just don't want this to go too long. So, but yeah, man, I noticed there was a decline on leisure time and um, it actually led me to, to classic shaving because um Classic shaving is, uh, it just takes longer. I mean, for some, for me anyways. I guess I just speak for myself, but it just takes longer. It, um, um, it's higher quality and um, it just it requires like a different amount of gear, sort of a different mindset than um, shaving with a can of a, a gel or shave cream. And then, you know, I mean, I, I don't have to tell you guys, you guys, those, those guys, you know, you guys who watch this, you know what I'm talking about. And so, um, yeah, I became intrigued by this hobby, 2012, started following some forms. And then, um, I started noticing, you know, companies like Phoenix Arts and Accoutrements, um, you know, uh, what was it? Wet shaving products and, uh, and then, um, Rex Razor Emporium. Well, who wasn't making, um, wasn't making these at the time, but was revamping like, like, uh, Matt was revamping uh, these really cool Gillettes. And so I uh, was immediately, immediately attracted to this hobby. And so I've been here ever since. So um, fast forward to 2015. I started to aggressively collect gear. Oh, I got a little bit of a nick. I started collecting gear in mass. Like uh, I would start getting like, uh, you know, tubs of shave cream like you see here. Whoops. <laughs> Then I ended up getting a, um, I just started getting into aftershave collecting. And I just really liked the novelty uh, scents like fireworks. I, I ended up liking like um, some of the, you know, like barbershop was brought, you know, has come back. And, you know, you have some, I'm not really a fan of bay rums. I know it's, you know, heresy, but I um, got a few bay rums. And then um, I just noticed that there was this like surge in um, clients. Guys doing it on, uh, you know, classic shaving on YouTube. Um, forms, guys are starting to make these really cool shaving shots that you see like on Instagram or you see over at, um, uh, what is it, uh, what are some of the other ones, like Reddit or whatever. And uh, I just wanted to be a part of it. Really, really cool to me. And that shave's pretty good, man. Mm-hmm. All right. Yep. Now, on these, you don't have to push very hard, guys. You don't have to push against your skin. Um, you will start getting nicks. Like, I'm, I got a few nicks here. But um, that just goes with the territory. <laughs> and I like that element of danger. So, here it is, guys. Uh, first shave and review with an Envoy by Rex. Um, huge shout-out to Matt again. So, we'll clean this up, disinfect it, guys, and this will be our giveaway for my uh, 500 subscribers. I really, really appreciate you guys. Um, let's just go ahead and do a little quick cold water rinse. Mm. I'm gonna do a uh, reverse pass off camera, but I typically just rinse with cold water because it constricts the uh, pores. And then um, we'll go ahead and do a, a little bit of Nick. Nick work right here. This will seal it up. So, all right, so details about the giveaway, guys. You gotta say, I'm in. And I already got you guys from the last video, so you guys, you guys, if, if you already said you're in, I'll just populate um, the last video into this video. And so, um, also too, this is continental United States only, guys. Um, I've had a, you know, I have a, I have a show um, that I'm a part of called Chubs and Crockett over on uh, Instagram, guys. Um, that's a little bit different channel than this kind of stuff, all shaving related. But um, 
I noticed that in my last couple of giveaways, one was to Ireland and one was over to the UK, or not UK, but the uh, New Zealand, man. And it is just so expensive, guys. Way expensive than it, it, it's ever been. And so this is just a continental United States only, guys. Um, you know, United States, Alaska, Hawaii. So, all right. Canada's excluded. UK's excluded. Sorry about that, guys. But it is what it is. Mm. Times is tough. All right. So... I just love that scent um, from uh, Wet Shaving Products. Oh, Dragon's Blood. Uh, absolutely love that cut-in, guys. Um, I'm a huge fan of those um, really cool movies. You know, Dragon Slayer and uh, what is it? But um, yeah, okay, so uh, let's go ahead and seal this up with a Dragon's Blood aftershave. Now, this one isn't marked, but I ended up just taking this from the shop. They ended up giving it to me, guys, and it's really, really cool. Let's get into it. Real nice, clean, close shave. Appreciate Matt for that again. Guys, you know I love me so. Olympus. Oh, this is a. Oh, this is Olympus. Oh, nice. Whew. <coughs> yeah. So this is Olympus, guys. This is this is a duplicate of uh, Creed Aventus. My apologies. Um, I thought I grabbed that Dragon's Blood, but I guess I didn't. So um, it was just a whirlwind tour, anyways, guys. More partying than shaving. <laughs> All right. So. Also a couple of things too, so um, this is a, uh, let's see here, four flow ounces. So um, uh, wet shaving products, guys, they sort of change it up a bit. So there's three sizes now. So um, we have a 7.44 um, ounce. This is also Dragon's Blood and this is their other shave cream. And then we got a four flow ounce plastic tub of their shave cream. But the one that I'm excited about is this two ounce. So this is, uh, wait a minute, it says 4.7, but this is wrong, no, 4.7. Um, I believe this is for their old tin, these are old, old labels from like last year, but this is not, this is a two ounce. So very, very cool. And um, this is for you guys who um, like to travel with your gear, like me. So very cool, looking forward to using this, but um, the ounce is, is wrong on this one because it's an older label, so. All right, guys. Um, so guys, shave is done, after shave is on, absolutely love it. Um, guys, I really, really appreciate all of you for watching these videos and supporting my channel. Huge shout out to the vendors who have always supported my channel. I know this uh, this type of shaving is not really for everyone. Most people use cartridges. Um, you know, I know there's a lot of politics involved. There's a lot of clicks now in the shaving community. But regardless, guys, I love this hobby and I'm here to stay. So thank you very much for this, guys. Absolutely love this brush. Love the aftershave. And I love this Envoy. And uh, West Shaving Products, thank you so much for giving me this. And thank you so much for including me in that very, really, really cool shave commercial that you guys made. All right, guys. Enter below. You're in or you're not. All right, guys. We will see you in the next one. And here's to another four years, guys. Shave Cave out.